and welcome back to my kitchen. It's not mine, I live with my parents. But they're not here and I'm hungry, so we're gonna make some food. I have this five ingredient college cookbook by Pamela Elgin. I'm gonna do something from here because I found something that was pretty great. It's underneath snacks, but like, it's essentially a chickpea salad. So when I say salad very loosely, there's absolutely nothing that's green in here. So don't worry about that. So it's Kung Pao chickpea. So I've got all of my ingredients. Actually, I don't have all of my ingredients. I have some of my ingredients over here and then I need oil. Problem with me getting oil is that there's a black widow hiding in that cabinet, which is why the, um, all of the condiments that I normally use are not in the cabinet because I don't want to have to open it more than possible. I don't want to have to open... <sighs> I don't want to have to open it more than necessary. The reason there's so many bugs in the house is because we've been turning on the whole house fan because our AC doesn't work. So it lets in bugs at night. Anyway, I'm gonna go get oil. Let's read the instructions. Actually, let's read the ingredients. The things you'll need. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Two 15 ounce cans of chickpeas drained. Two garlic cloves, minced. One teaspoon ginger, minced. Three fourths cup of Kung Pao sauce. One half cup of toasted cashews. So, you're also gonna need a skillet and a pan. And a strainer, maybe, for the chickpeas? Or can I just use a fork? We'll see! Step number one in a large skillet over... It completely skips over the fact that you have to heat up the oven stove top, if you have one of those, and um, mince your things. So step number one, mince your garlic and also your ginger. Mince things. Just like last time I'm playing as I go. Mince things. I have a thing that you mince things on. It's a cutting board. It's a cutting board. I'm gonna just, uh, there, and we go mince. Do I have to skin the gin? I don't know how to mince these things. How do you prepare garlic and ginger? Oh, okay. There's a lot of, I don't understand. Is there like a call your friend option in Can Cat Cook? There should be a call a friend option. I'm making a mess, that's okay. Oh, oh, I got a garlic. I need another one. Oh, oh no. That's fine. If we heat it up, all of the bacteria will die. Right? That's how science works. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure how garlic works, but I've heard that you crush it and then chop it. Like you crush it with a flat of a knife. Whoa there. Flat of the knife and then you chop it. I'm just keeping, I just keep pulling the skin off. Oh, now it smells like garlic. That's cool. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's, um, this knife just got sharpened with my penchant for dropping things. I should probably be wearing shoes. There it is. Oh, and now I can take the skin off. Jeez, wow. There we go. I'm glad I did that. Follow your instincts, kids. I hate cooking. Mostly because I don't know how to do it and I don't really want to admit that. I feel like part of you is skin, but you're not gonna- Why is it sticky? I don't like that washing my hands. I was just gonna get more sticky. Washing my hands. Okay, we're going to mince the garlic. Mincing is just like tiny chops, yeah? Yeah? Ooh, boy, this is a sharp knife. I'm afraid of using my, losing my fingers. Is this how you chop things? It sounds right. It doesn't look right. It sounds right. I don't want to lose my fingers. Cutting that bit off, that bit seems unnecessary. Okay, well, this is not at all that sharp. This is not at all uh, small, so like this? Rocky motions? Ooh, that's very sharp. Cat, stop that. That's fine. I think it only took a layer off of skin. Besides, I'm eating it, so I can ingest my own blood, right? It's not like there's any health and safety inspections, otherwise we wouldn't have black widows in the fucking cabinets. I don't know what to mean. Does anybody? This is a sharp knife, and I keep forgetting that. Oh, ginger burns when it gets into cuts. Pro tip, if you've sliced your finger open, ginger hurts. No, this isn't ginger, this is garlic. Make the ginger, uh, it's garlic, cat. Make the garlic as small as possible. I think that's good. It's fairly mutilated, just like my fingers. Minced garlic, question mark? Ginger time. Do I skin the ginger? What do I do with ginger? How do I prepare ginger? I have internet, now I can Google it. How to prepare ginger. So you have to take off the skin of the ginger. I'm gonna cut off the end. Man, ginger is so good. And I only need like a teaspoon, so I'm just gonna cut it and then just slice away the skin like you would a potato. This is one sharp knife. Ah, should I be using a different, smaller knife for this? There we go. 
Do I need to cauterize the other one? Okay, so, oh, there's more skin. Mince the ginger. Oh, there, okay, well, there's ginger that lives on the floor now. I'm not great at this. There's more ginger on the floor. We're good. Mince it. If I could have a candle that smelled like almond extract and ginger, I would be so happy. Okay, I think that's minced. I also think it's more than a teaspoon, but we're gonna add it all anyway. Now we can move on to the first step. Step number one, in a large skillet, heat the oil over medium heat. Cook the chickpeas for two to three minutes until heated through and beginning to brown. Then add the garlic and the ginger and cook for another 30 seconds. That's like six steps. That's not three steps. One step, that's not one step. That's like three steps. Heat skillet. I'm gonna not use the nice skillet. I don't trust myself with it. I'm going to use that skillet. Every time I watch these, I'm appalled at how awful my posture is and also how much this is. So, okay, two, two somethings. Tablespoons, teaspoons? Tablespoons of oil. It says canola oil, but we're using vegetable oil because that's the oil that we have. I'm gonna turn on this thing. One, two. That's a lot of oil. Whatever. Clean up your mess because you made a lot of mess because ginger and garlic are apparently very messy. Oh, some of it's on the floor now. That's fine too. I suppose while that's heating up, I could drain my chickpeas because they're in cans, which means I need to open the cans and also drain the chickpeas. Okay, that's heating up. I'm gonna add the can of chickpeas. There we go. Next can of chickpeas, open and drain. Ah, we lost some chickpeas to the sink, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I've just realized that unless you're going to be stirring it with your hands, get a spoon. I'm gonna use this one, because I feel like it'll work. Stir them. Um, stir, stir, stir. It said five to ten minutes, right? That means I have time to, like, play a song. I can get one whole song in. They've begun to brown, so now we're gonna add the garlic and the ginger. Next, we're gonna add three fourths cup of the sauce. One fourth. Two fourths. Three fourths. And stir. Good enough. I forgot the next step. Let's read. Add the sauce and cook for five minutes, then stir in the cashews. Double check. Stirring cashews. That's it. Okay, let's eat, I guess. Turn oven off. Take hot thing off of hot thing. We've dropped a cashew. The cashew is hot. It's good though. Add your creation to a bowl. Wow. Wow. I mean, I guess let's try it. This is really good. I feel like it could be spicier. I could use more garlic, more ginger, some kind of chili. Not bad. Dude, I cooked. This wasn't out of a can. No, that's a lie. It was out of a can. It wasn't like I had all the instructions and all I had to do was add water. Like this, I cooked. I cooked a thing. Yum. If you enjoyed this episode of Can Cat Cook, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you'd like to see me make next time. And I will see you guys some other time. Bye.